Peace, 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 family. I am Z the Empress, and I am back with your July monthly reading, love reading, for the sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, if this resonates with you, feel free to drop a comment. All right, so let's get into your reading, Leo. Leo. So the first card I pulled for my Leos is, if y'all can see this, joy. Okay, joy. What I get from this card is pure bliss. Like walking on the moon. Just happy. Just finally happy. Like finally genuinely happy. No fool fool, no fake. Really happy. Living in the moment, letting your hair down, not caring, being authentically you. Okay, doing your own thing. If you're single, Leo, you're probably, or you're newly single. Probably going, getting back out there on the dating scene again, going to the club by yourself. But you're sticking out. You're doing your own thing. You're in your own world. But you're sticking out because they're like, your energy is so bomb. You're the center of attention. So they're like, who is this? Who is that girl? You know, who is, who is he? Like, who is that? You are all of that in a bag of chips, Leo. Okay, you are feeling yourself. You know, my Leo love to be a set of attention. Okay, but I ain't gonna give y'all too much though. But, um, yeah, the first card I got, um, regarding the tarot though is the death card. And I feel like this is this is in the past. It is a past energy, it's death to old thought patterns, old ways of being. Um, toxic relationships, toxic people, anything that no longer serves you, you are releasing that or you have released that. In your past, you finally, you know, got the courage to walk away from a toxic relationship, a toxic partner, a toxic situation. Um, you might have been ignoring the red flags in that relationship. Because you got pay attention to the red flags, the signs are crossing in you. Um, you're walking away from that way of being and thinking and that mindset to not ignore the red flags. So you, are, so you can attract the type of mate that you desire. So you can attract this Ace of Cups energy. Okay? And you got attraction. And I feel as though because you build up the courage to finally release what no longer serves you, the relationship that you always desired, you always wanted to manifest into your life, the man of your dreams, the partner of your dreams, is coming be soon as, and I feel like it's going to happen fast. It's like as soon as you let go, you remove yourself from that toxic situation, toxic relationship, or situationship whatever you were you had going on what you really want comes to you really fast and it's going to happen fast and you're going to be like oh my god i can't believe this is happening so fast it's too good to be true i don't know and then boom you're pregnant or boom you're married then boom you're pregnant then or boom y'all live next thing you know y'all moving in together y'all living together you're meeting his parents or she's meeting your parents. Okay. And you got the world card as well. So this is good. This is good. You got the world card. This is going to be the relationship, the man, the woman of your dreams. This is what you've always wanted. You may meet them through a friend because you got to let your friends help you. So you might meet them through a friend. 
it's maybe a friend that turns into a lover or a friend of the family. Okay, you meet them through a friend or like a get together or maybe a game night. Shoot, you may meet them at Taco Tuesday. Keep an open mind, okay? You might meet them at the the corner store. But this man may be a CEO or something. Okay, and you ain't even know it. Until he pull up on you. Or until he takes you out and treats you like you've never been treated. He treats you like a, a queen, like royalty. He opens the door for you. He's a gentleman. Okay, it's like y'all can't get enough of each other and it's so passionate. And it's like you something you've never had before because you got spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, Leo, beyond this lifetime. Okay, powerful connection. Okay, because this is 27 and 2 plus 7 is 8, which represents infinity. Okay. Um, it says you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to. You may feel limitless. This love will make you feel blissful. Like you can do whatever you want. You feel so motivated and inspired by this new Sorry, guys. You feel so motivated and inspired by this new love connection. It says choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do. You got to choose love. I just did Aries. Aries got to choose love too, I think. Okay, it's like you never knew a love like this before. It just goes from zero to a hundred real quick on you, Leo. You just, it's, I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. You're going to be like, oh my God, and you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy. You're not even used to being this happy. He might have people that are jealous. So don't tell your business to everybody. Everybody don't need to know your business. Okay, Leo. Some things you just need to keep to yourself. Okay. Just enjoy you. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy this new relationship. Don't let nobody into your business as of yet or in your... Kind of keep it on the hush, you know? Keep it, just keep it on the low for now. And let things happen organically. But yeah, I feel like your life partner. You're going to meet your life partner this month. It doesn't have to be this month. It could be... Within the next two to three months. But I feel like it's very soon. You got the hair font too at the bottom of the deck. Um, which also represents like a, a spiritual connection. Spiritual relationship. And you got spiritual connection. So yeah, like this is a beautiful relationship is on the horizon. You're attracting your partner is your life partner. The man of your dreams, the woman of your dreams is on the way. Keep the faith. But it's totally up to you guys, okay? You have to invite this energy towards you. Keep your vibrations high. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Okay, love yourself and be happy and spread love. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. Peace, love, and abundance, y'all.